and welcome to my chaos so today we are going to be continuing doing quests with timon i honestly think it's the level four quest that's how behind i am already but in my defense i've been working on the lore video i'm going to be narrating it this weekend because i wanted to dedicate like an entire day to it because like i'm filming right now when it's dark right and i don't want to film the lore video when it's dark so i'm going to film it this saturday Ooh, we got four thousand moonstones <gasps> Nice. I don't even think I have a picture of it. <laughs> we still haven't even done Tiana's quest. We still haven't even done the quests with Mulan and Mushu. I don't even think I've done Mulan's level two quest. That's how behind we are. We're just gonna continue with Timon's quests today and see what happens with him. Because quite frankly, I really want to unlock that dress, like the little bug dress, because I, I still don't have that. I haven't done Pumbaa's quest either. We got lots of things to do before the new DLC arrives. Oh my God, in 13 days? Are you kidding me? Jack, we're falling behind. Please help me, Jack. Oh no, Mirabelle is here. What is he saying? I've just had a terrifying idea. I mustn't forget it. Okay, quite frankly, I need that because Mirabelle's here, you know? So like the more terrifying, the better. <laughs> I really want that cave. Mirabelle, how did you get up here so fast? How did she get up here that fast? I know you can teleport Mirabelle, but could you hide it better? <laughs> she terrifies me. Let's go find the other evil member of the Illuminati, Timon. Of course Timon is missing. Of course they're all there except for Timon. Literally, where did he go? There's my husband. Look at our husband. He's so beautiful. So wonderful. Oh, Timon eats at the restaurant? I don't think I've ever seen him eating at the restaurant. I must normally never get on at this time. <gasps> Look, it's my best friend. Hi, best friend. Look, Timon is wishing that he could have come to the Jafar wedding extravaganza. That's too bad, Timon. You were never invited. You were never going to be invited, Timon. You think that just because you're having dinner with Merlin that we're going to try to invite? Why don't you come over here? Hmm? Why aren't you over here with Mike Wazowski? Huh? He probably got up and changed tables the second we walked in. Because like he probably went to go sit next to Merlin to look a little bit less suspicious. Hey, kid. That's what happened here. Um, this better be good. I got a busy schedule of doing absolutely nothing all day. Are you kidding me? I already have a headache. Alright, Timon, first of all, unfortunately, let's hang out because... Okay, let's start the fight. This is not going to be fun. <laughs> hey, Jamie, how about some help with a little project I have in mind? What kind of project, okay. Timon? To take over the valley? I've been checking out the animals in the valley. You know, the squirrels and such a what? Who else? The lions? Wait, was the last quest with Timon his level two quest? There's no, th there's no way that was only his level two quest because that was like level 10 material coming after Scar like that? There's no way. Was that his level? Oh my God. Um, whatever. Okay, Timon, what? What animals are you after now? Yeah, we call them critters. Critters, I like that. Anyway, I wanna keep track of them somehow. It's always good to know your neighbors, right? Yeah, see, he's trying to track the critters so that he's, it's like a little GPS system on absolutely everybody in the valley. So first the critters. Then the larger animals, like the lions, because that's who he's really after. And then it's going to end up being us. No, Timon, you can't track the critters. I'm not giving you permission to do this. Do you have any ideas? No. Ugh. What if you make a sort of documentary? You can take pictures, record yourself talking about them, and we can make a slideshow for the village. I mean, that's fine. I'm all for an educational documentary. Uh -huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, that sounds good. Only one problem. Ah! I have no idea what any of that means. It's because you're an uncultured swine. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Are you dense, Timon? Clearly it isn't, since I have no idea what you're talking about. That's because you're dense. Yeah, they're very interesting, and it's nice to teach. Yes! So I'm gonna be famous. Of course, you're only after the fame, the money, and the power. <laughs> like a true narcissist. All right, let's do it. I can't wait for my adoring audience to praise my incredible work. How do people like this meerkat? Surely, surely people don't like this. 
Surely people do not like to moan. Okay, I bet someone around here would have a recording device that we can borrow. Greetings, Jamie. How can I help? Hi, Buzz. Do you know... Timon? Affirmative. I've seen him scurrying around the valley. He seems skittish. Yes, yes, he is. He is, uh... He's trying to put GPS systems on absolutely everyone to buzz. What are we going to do about it? Um, skittish is a bit of an understatement. I can't disagree. He almost reminds me of my good friend Rex. Aw, but Rex is cute. Can we give Rex? Anyway, he's currently making a slideshow presentation, and we need a recording device for his narration. Do you have anything we can use? Unfortunately, no. I did lose some batteries in the river in the forest of the Valor recently. You might try fishing them out of there. That way you can find your device, you can power it up. Okay, so we're gonna go fishing in the forest. Also, please mind the mess. Oh, look, it's my ex-boyfriend and my husband. Hi, honey, how are you? What? Jafar, what? What? <laughs> Has he been possessed by Mirabelle? What? What is, what is he after? Jafar, sweetie, what are you? Hmm. Do you think Timon put a GPS tracker on Buzz? Uh -huh. Is that what's going on here? Uh -huh. Jafar, honey, uh, 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 Buzz, get out of my face. I'm trying Tell to talk to my that. husband. Oh, sweetie, are you okay? Um, You seem thoughtful, Jafar. Something seems to be on your mind. Can one be truly worthy if they lack refinement? No, Jafar. Perhaps God, I need to say something Until we meet time. again. Oh, honey, we'll meet many, many, many times. Where did Timon go? Where is that stupid meerkat? I hate this glitch of, um, the characters you're hanging out with, like, not really following you around closely. Because I wanted to get some cute shots of Jafar and I for the lore video. Where he, like, I don't know. Whenever I run away, the way he, like, runs at me when he's following me is, like, super cute. And I just wanted to make, like, a little montage of me and Jafar, but I can't get the footage that I want because of the glitch. Hi, what can I do for you, Jamie? I'm actually here on uh. business. Business, you say? I'm listening. Um. Do you sell anything I can use as a recording device? You might want to try fishing around the forest of Valor. There may even be a rusted recorder in one of those ponds. I accidentally dropped one there ages ago and have nay had any luck fishing it out. Is that my husband again? Oh no, that was Kristoff. I could have sworn I saw Jafar. Oh, that was our husband. Where did he go? Jafar, how did you cross over the bridge? My friends, the trolls, would love you. Jafar? Are you okay, sweetie? Jafar's acting a little weird, don't you think? Who's over there? Is that Remy? Oh, he's after Timon. <laughs> I think Timon put a, a recording device or GPS uh -huh. or something on Buzz. I think there was a reason Jafar was after him. Because, like... I be, I be seeding, I, I keep seeing Jafar, like, hanging around the enemies, trying to brain control them. Like, he's not just hanging around them. It's it snowing. seems, see, look at him bowing at Good Elsa. Good thing the cold doesn't bother me. Look at him respecting Elsa and running away. Look at him bowing to Olaf. Hmm. Well, okay. Interesting. Do you see this? Do you see our husband? Now, I know a lot of you keep asking me, are we going to do a Hades wedding? Quite frankly, maybe, but I might not invite myself. <laughs> we might have a wedding extravaganza, but I might not be marrying Hades. Because quite frankly, I am filled with Jafar. I don't think I've ever been more in love with a character than I, ha than I am with Jafar. You know? Like, that's my man. That's my whole man. And I didn't even, I didn't think it was going to happen. You know, it really just goes to show you. Don't judge a book by its cover. Remy's keeping an eye on us, isn't he? Look at him over there. Remy, why are you all up in my face? What's wrong with you, Remy? I still need to do with this quest Hello. with Remy because like, it's for Mirabelle. Shut up, Remy. Oh, something that happened. Hold up. I took a picture of it. Oh, oh yeah. Hold up. Okay, so Jafar, for whatever reason, was like, bowing to the squirrel which i thought was hilarious and then also Kristoff and mirabelle were like hanging out with each other 
evil plotting the other day. It was quite scary. So um, I don't know. I think that's I think that's the only thing that happened. A lot of people like Remy. The Remy fans. Those of you that actually like stupid Remy rat, explain yourselves. Explain why you like Remy, Timon, and Mike. <laughs> How? I don't like this. I don't like making a recording device for Timon. This doesn't seem right. This seems like it's building up into something. Now, if we're making more microphone trees, I'm... Wait, what if he's making microphone trees for us? Disney Dream Valley. That's not what I asked for. I asked for more microphone trees for me, not for the Illuminati. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. This is bad, 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 bad. Timon. Timon, you stupid fool. Where are you? Buzz, I think you might have some kind of device on you that needs to get checked out. I'm hoping that Jafar fixed it for you, but I really can't be sure. Where is this stupid meerkat? Why is he... T get away from Olaf. What? He's like after the Teen Girl Squad. Teen Girl Squad! What are you doing to poor Olaf? Timon. You trying to record Olaf? What do you need this for, Timon? What are your plots? What is your evil plan here? Here's the recording device. What are you using it for? <laughs> Great! <laughs> uh -huh. In the distance, a wild beast sits nibbling on the grass. She waits for her colony to join her. Let's watch. Is he talking about Nala? <laughs> What are you question. talking Who's about? Got the best neighbors in the valley. That's right. You're looking at him. I'm just getting warmed up. F uh. Now, what exactly do we do with this recording thingamajigger? I think you already know, Timo, because you just used it. What? What? What are you? Why is he asking what we do with it? He just recorded, didn't he? Am I mistaken? You can talk about the critters we're taking pictures of and it will play your voice back to you. You mean, I'll hear myself after I said something? That's amazing. Of course you'd like that, you stupid narcissist. Let's get started. Do you know what critters you want to see other than the lions? Uh-huh. Well, you've been here longer than me. Where do you think we should start? Ooh, the raccoons, okay. because today, everybody? they'll attack you. They're my other half. Hmm, I think we should snap a photo of... One of the furry little omnivores. Yeah, because like he'll think that they're safe, but they're not. Like a fox or a raccoon. But we definitely want to have a variety of pictures. We want to photograph as many critters as we can. Oh, I know. What about that little red lizard I've seen walking around? Moosh is in the eye, Illuminati. Confirmed. I knew it. I knew it. Why would Timon want a picture of Mushu? You know, the one who talks fast, Lizard? Do you mean Mushu? Oh, you know Mushu isn't a critter, Timon. Mushu. Yeah, he's trying. See, Mushu and Remy's here? What is with all of these short. Oh my god. Also, do I have beef with like short people? <laughs> <laughs> look, look at who the Illuminati is. It's Vanellope, Mike Wazowski, Timon, Remy, and I mean, I'm saying Mushu confirmed, but not really. And like Mushu. They all like to have the same personality type, don't they? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, Mushu's literally announcing to us that he's indestructible. That's a red flag. Did, these are, did you see Moana get angry just now? Moana is fuming. Moana is fuming. He's a guardian? No, he's not. Mm, you don't say. No, he's not. Even better if he's something special that would add some pizzazz to the production. I'm not so sure about that, quite frankly. What's not to be sure about? Trust me, it's going to be great. It's really not. Yeah, okay. Mushu's in the Illuminati. <laughs> All right, just so long as you understand he isn't a critter, Mushu is a very well-respected... No, he's not. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Stop worrying so much. It's going to be great. Okay, I'll go take pictures of some critters in Dreamlight Valley and Mushu. While I do that, you can get some more, or do some more scouting for the documentary. He's gonna go stalk Nala or something. He's after, he's, he went after Scar, now he's after Nala. Simba is next, and then the rest of us.
Little squirrely squirrel. Look at Pumbaa. He's so cute. I can't wait to do Pumbaa's quest because we have to decide like... Hey, got a minute? What category he's in. Because I, re I really don't think... He could be a protector or in the Teen Girl Squad. But what if we just made him? What if what if Pumbaa's just me and Jafar's baby? What if Pumbaa is my son? What if he has his own little category, you know? Where are these stupid squirrels? Oh my god, Vanellope's here too? All we're missing is Belle and Mike. But Belle's banished. So really all we're missing is Mike. Oh, he's eating in the restaurant. Wow, they are all running about today. Can I get a picture with this squirrel? No. I can't find any of the squirrels. What is my ex-boyfriend doing outside of my house? Where even is he? This Eric, what are you doing? Great. Yeah, I know I'm pretty great. Now get away from me and help me find a squirrel. Hello. What is happening to the Forgotten? She is seizing. Timon, what did you do to the Forgotten? What what did he do to my teenage self? <sighs> mm -mm. Timon is the most evil of them all. I'm just gonna go in and out and see if that does anything to help us find a stupid squirrel. No, really, where are the squirrels? Where are the critters? Hello? Hello? Now I know how Remy feels. Hello? Do you think Timon destroyed all the squirrels? Jafar, I think Timon did something to all the squirrels. He's on it. He's he's teleporting away to go help us find some squirrels. Let's just follow our husband. He's gonna help us find a squirrel. No, I really think the squirrels are gone. Is this a glitch or something? Has this happened to anybody else? Excuse me, but I could use a human's help. Remy, oh my god, I hate, I hate that I can't banish him because we're always gonna have stupid quests with him. Oh my god, he's so annoying. I'm just gonna have Remy screaming at me for the rest of my life. Can I turn off the quests with Remy, please? <gasps> oh, the rabbit counted. Can I get pictures of them? Okay, that counts. Jeez, that was annoying. Jamie, these pictures are great. Yeah, I know, I'm great. The angles, the lighting, the understanding of your subjects, you're a natural. What's it called when they are, oh, love bombing. He's love bombing me. What do you want, Timon? You're being very complimentary. Hey, when I see genius, I recognize it. Your competition has, or has nothing on you, what competition? I don't have any competition, Timon. Nobody can compete with me. So what? What? what is it that you're saying? I'm the only one taking pictures for you, Timon. Uh -huh. Ah, details, details. Listen, I've got another assignment for you. What is he doing? What's he doing? What? What are you up to, Timon? Assignment? You know, a job, a task, a do something for your pal. I don't want to do anything for you. See, this slideshow, it's missing the element of... Danger? Okay. Really, I thought I thought Mirabelle was at the top. I think Timon is even above Mirabelle at this point. Cause like this is just insane. This is only his level four quest, right? Danger? Yep, what if we documented the homes of some Is he still after Scar? What do you mean, Timon? I'd need to talk to them all first. We just need pictures of hey. their homes, so you're in? No, I'm really not, but I don't really have a choice now, do I? Yeah, this will add something really cool and interesting to our project. Really, I just want to see what you're doing. I'll take pictures inside some of the fiercer villagers' homes. Define fiercer. Who? Is he doing? Jafar, something's wrong, sweetie. 
I think Jafar is trying to warn Beast. I shall simply have to bide my time. Jafar, what do you mean? What's happening? Beast? Do you know where Belle is? I, 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 I don't know. Beast, I, she really has been gone for a long time. Hasn't she? Um, I wonder where she could be. I, I, I wish I could tell you. I really do. I just, I, I have no idea. Good thing the you cold know. doesn't bother me. So they're not letting me tell Beast I'm about to just take pictures Goodbye. in his house. All right, well, Beast, I unfortunately have to go to your house and take stalker photos inside your house. Hi, sweetie. I love you, too. Um, yeah. So, look at how often he bows to me. This man is so in love with me. And quite frankly, I am so in love yeah, with him. Jafar, I hope you know how much I love you. Like, truly, truly, I love you. Okay, oh, oh. Oh yeah, see, he, he's thrilled. He's he's like, yeah, she likes me. <laughs> Go to my BFF's house and take pictures that are like really up close against the wall so that way Remy can't get any information whatsoever. I'm sorry, not Remy, Timon, but you know, Remy's probably involved too, so him too. You know, let's just take a picture of the door. No, no, no. That'll give too much information about how to get in. Let's take a picture of this rock. Right here. There we go. Yeah, he wants one of the Teen Girl Squad. He wants one of the Protector's home. He wants one of the Enemy's home. And he wants one of my Teenage Self's home. Or whatever. I don't know. Kind of little area thing. That's suspicious. That's suspicious. Simba, Pumba, could you please tell Nala that I'm going to have to take like creepy stalker photos of your home? I'm really, really sorry. I'm gonna make it like, so that we get as little information as possible, okay? I'm not really sure what Timon plans on doing with these photos, but I'm going to make sure that he won't be able to use anything with them. Here, we'll take a picture of this wall right here. There. There you go, Timon. You're welcome. Oh god, there's Mirabelle waiting for me. Like a creep. Those night thorns are the worst, am I right? Ooh, she's terrifying. Get away from me. <laughs> I left a pumpkin out. What's happening in here? Listen to Scar and Ursula's conversation. So the arrangements have been made? Two members of the Teen Girl Squad. Teen Girl Squad! Most definitely, even Mother Gothel has decided to join us? And the Forgotten? It would seem your conversation with them was enough to convince them. What's going on? Excellent. And remember, Ursula. No one must know what we are up to. Then you better be a little more careful. Seems our friend Jamie can hear us. Of course I can. I'm on your side. What? Oh, is it a surprise party? Get out of here, Jamie. I'm sorry, Scar. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, unfortunate soul. I, I didn't mean to. I love you both, okay? I'm, I'm sorry that I ruined the surprise party. I'm surprised the Mother Gothel's coming, quite frankly. I really didn't think that we were getting along too well. Maybe she wants my hair. I don't really know. I'll, I'll, I'll still act surprised. I'll practice my surprise face. Ready? <gasps> All right, Timon, what have you done to Ursula and Scar to make them try to, like, evil plot something? Hey, Timon, our slideshow has taken a bit of a turn. Scar might be causing trouble. I overheard him with Ursula. It sounds like they are teaming up with Mother Gothel and the Forgotten about something. Yeah, a surprise party, you idiot. Whoa, whoa, I whoa. knew that Time creep was out. up. Did he just call my best friend? My best friend and top member of the Teen Girl Squad? A creep? Although the bone, the, bo the bone noises, it's really driving me nuts. I'm gonna have to turn this off. <laughs> what do you mean? You call him my best friend a creep. Look at Scar. Look at how cute he is. He's a precious little bean. I know it doesn't look it looks great they're they're planning a party we should probably find more evidence we should figure out what they're trying to do except not really because they're planning a surprise party why would you try to ruin the surprise 
What more evidence do we need? The guy is guilty. Trust me. I don't trust you. You're guilty. I trust Scar. I will always trust Scar. He has never lied to me. Not a single time. And that, quite frankly, is the truth. Timon, I can't say the same for you. We can't jump to any conclusions. I'll go investigate the giant willow, Scar's cave, and Ursula's beach cave to look for evidence. You keep an eye out for Scar and make sure he doesn't know we are on to... Yeah, because we can't let him know that we know about the surprise party. Um, Ursula's beach cave... What is Ursula's beach cave? Is that just Ursula? Oh, that's Ursula's house. Okay. Jafar, what are you doing to Tiana? Everyone here has a dream. Just like I me. know. My dream is to um, destroy the Isle of Agati, Rapunzel. Um, you think... Huh. You think Timon put a uh, GPS tracker on Tiana, too? That's probably it. Mm -mm. Jafar is just trying to destroy the GPS trackers. Why did I go into Tiana's restaurant? <laughs> Explain to me. It's because normally every time I get on Jafar, Jafar has a preference for Tiana's place. He really does. So like my muscle memory is to get onto the game and go to Tiana's place because he's always in there. He was in Remy's restaurant last night and I was so confused. <laughs> oh, what do we see here? Is it a party invitation? Roses are red, sunflowers gold. With these magic words, I shall never grow old. Okay, so Mother Gothel's just trying to stay young. What else is new? <laughs> He's literally just humming in Ursula's house, and I'm not here for it. Outcast, reviled, banished to the deep, and they wonder about the secrets I keep. Aw, Ursula. It's okay, Ursula. You're not banished anymore. Forget Timon. Forget everything he says. You are loved and appreciated here, and that is why you were in the Teen Girl Squad. Teen Girl Squad! So, like, don't worry about it, sweetie. You're, like, totally fine. See, look at how innocent she is. Uh, just look at me practically wasted away. Vanessa, Ursula, you are beautiful. Inside and out, okay? Don't listen to what anybody else says. Hi, Scar, sweetie. Are you okay? He looks like a sad kitty. He's a little sad kitty. Scar baby, it's okay. A plan now in motion. I call out in vain. The beloved sun sets through thunder. I'll rain. Aw. See, he can only come out in the darkness. My poor baby. Show the diary entry to Timon. I have to show their diaries to Timon? I don't like this. I don't like this quest. Look at Timon hiding in the rocks because he knows. He knows he's up to no good. I found these pages in the homes of the villains. They're written very oddly. No, they sound pretty normal. What are you talking about? And that means nothing. It means nothing. All of them are poetic. <laughs> pretty much. Um, maybe we've been wrong this whole time. I don't see what these diary pages could possibly mean. Mm, don't no say, way, there's no. definitely something fishy going on. They're not doing anything. I mean, if they're doing something, it's just like, I don't know. They're not up to no good. I don't really know what you think they're doing. The valley's predators seem poised to strike, but who and how? N narration aside, I bet this is all an elaborate ruse to get the Forgotten on their side. Scar will do anything to rule. The Forgotten's already on their side. The Forgotten is me. And Scar and Ursula are on the team girl squad. Now, Mother Gothel... She really just, in her diary entry, she really just seems to want to be young and beautiful. So, I, I really don't know where she fits into this. She probably just gets something out of it. I don't know. Maybe she just wants to be in the Teen Girl Squad or something. I really don't know. But regardless, this is not out of character for the rest of them. I don't know what to tell you, Timon. You think he wants to overthrow... Us? Who is us? What do you mean, us? Who is there to overthrow? There's me. Me. And quite frankly, second on the throne, well, actually, it would be Jafar, because he's my husband, right? But, like, Scar's up there, too. 
He's my best friend. So the people who rule are me, Jafar, and Scar. You got three villains at the top. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Who Who is us? He did it before. Trust me, he'll do it again. He's already at the top. Yeah. What do you mean? And hey, while you were investigating, I did a little digging of my own. What did you do? You didn't cause any trouble, do you? Or did you? Me cause trouble? I'm the one trying to stop the trouble. You're really not. Everything was fine until you got... Well, yes. actually, many things weren't fine. But it got worse when you got here to mow. A lot worse. You took it from here and took it to here. Okay? We're at a completely different level of evilness in the valley. But I did hear a rumor about a couple known troublemakers. Apparently Scar and Mother Gothel have been hanging around the Vitali's mines looking suspicious. They're probably just throwing a party. The only way to know what's going on is to catch them in the act. Take pictures of them in the Vitali's mine and show it to the Forgotten before it's too late. Okay, tomorrow. I'm gonna show it to the Forgotten just to show the Forgotten how stupid you are. Listen to Scar and Mother Gothel's conversation. Where are they? Over here? They're not doing anything. Are you certain now is a good time for this? You're looking a bit... Peaked. Aw, oh, so he's stressed about the party. Peaked. Oh, relax. I'm just teasing. You really do take things far too seriously, you know. Don't diss my best friend. If you're not interested. Ooh, yeah. Hold it above her, Scar. Wait. I admit you caught my interest. I even started a little something of my own. Ooh, what are you doing, Mother Gothel? Ahem. The wilted flower, the wilted life, as time moves forward, I'm filled with strife. Are they just starting a poetry club? Terrible tempo, and rather derivative, no. They're just starting a poetry club. Derivative? Sorry, I'm feeling too peaked to be constructive in my critiques. You tell her, Scar. You tell her. <laughs> They're so cute. They're literally just starting a poetry club to work through their emotions. What's wrong with you, Remy? Can't you see that these poor people are suffering? They've suffered... Enough. Okay, there we go. Alright, sweetie. So, you're part of this little poetry club? How's this it going? Is just a small talk, is it? Hello, it Jamie. Though. What's wrong? You look worried. I'm not worried. How's the poetry club? I know you and Scar are working together. How's it going? Wouldn't call it work. But you admit it, so Scar doesn't want to overthrow- No, he's- He's writing poetry! Leave him alone. He's just trying to work through things. <sighs> what are you talking about? I know she's so stupid. Scar's been having secret meetings with Ursula and Mother Gothel, and I found these mysterious diary entries. I even took some pictures. Oh, no, Jamie, you have it all wrong. No one is planning anything evil. I introduced some of the villagers to poetry recently. Duh, you idiot. What, what did you think? What do you mean, low battery? Calm down. <laughs> <sighs> I should have known this was about poetry. You really should have. Poetry has helped me deal with a lot of my difficult emotions. See? They're just trying to work through their problems. And here we are trying to attack them. They have trauma. They're turning to art to deal with their trauma. Leave them alone. Scar really took to it. Of course he is, because he's extremely intelligent. But he wanted to keep it quiet to protect his reputation. Maybe you noticed Scar's poem was handwritten? He dictated, and I wrote it out for him. Scar writing poetry? Yeah. Why are you surprised? Timon is going to love. What is wrong with my avatar? I didn't say any of that. I said I knew it. I knew Timon was wrong. Timon is stupid. Scar is smart. Everybody's wrong. Look at our husband. <laughs> I love that man. Where, where's stupid Timon? 
Timon, you idiot, where are you? Of course they were having a secret meeting. Of course Mirabelle and Timon are having a secret meeting and now Mirabelle's off to go eat my child. Mirabelle's off to eat my literal baby. I didn't think it was possible for things to get worse than they already were. And then Timon came. <laughs> Who's so next? Good. Quite frankly, who? <sighs> That's the perfect twist. Scar having a poetic side. This will make a great ending to my slideshow. No, he doesn't want it to get out. See, why did you tell Timon? Why did you go and tell this loudmouth something that your best friend wanted to keep under wraps? Speaking of, now that the mystery is solved, we need to put together a showing for the whole valley. Mm, and say. we'll need someplace big to show it so everyone can watch. You better not put Scar's poetry in there. I'll go buy a giant projector that we can use for Mr. McDuck. In the meantime, you can start inviting everyone to the show. Oh, oh my god, we're about to get away. Oh, we can just straight up give Scrooge some money? All right. Mr. McDuck, we need a giant projector to show Timon's nature slideshow. I I have just the thing. Only 1,000 star coins, which is a real bargain. Sure. One giant projector. There you go. Do you see this bundle he invited? He invites my best friend, Mother Gothel, my baby, and Mushu, who could be in the Teen Girl Squad. Also, a seizing forgotten. I've forgotten what's ha what's going on here. What's going on with your little head? We need to take you to the doctor, sweetie. We're going to the doctor after this. Look at Scar. Look at Puma. They're so cute. Aww. Still got a bad angle in Mother Gobble. Someone's got to tell her how to pose. I despise rage. Listen to Timon talk to Scar. Don't get me wrong. That was fun. But you've got to learn to slow down. The rodent seems rather proud of himself for that sad display. Yeah! Again, <laughs> Scar! Rodent! I'll have you know, I'm a meerkat! You tyrannical hairball! Oh no, he did not eat him, Scar! Oh. Ouch. You wound me so. <laughs> you have one thing to I have just one thing to say to you. Beloved What did you say? Hey, I thought it was pretty good. He's antagonizing my best oh, friend. Was life's not fair. I've you noticed that scar. That. I, I I will remember that scar. When you eat Timon because he was being unfair, I'll make sure to remember that. Don't worry, sweetie. Why were you antagonizing him, Timon? What is your problem? Thanks for your help with this slideshow, right. Jamie. I may be the one with the big ideas, but you execute him perfectly. Like, literally, Scar is trying to work through his trauma that was inflicted upon him by his own pride. And you, quite frankly. And you make fun of him for trying to work through it. You're horrible. You're a horrible person to moan. I'm pretty sure the whole thing was my idea. No fine, fine. We both have big ideas. Happy now? No, yours are just as tiny as you. Poor baby. I'm glad all my hard work has <laughs> paid off. Me too. And hey, you should take this giant projector for yourself. You earned it after all. I'm going to burn it because there's probably a GPS tracker on it. Simba, watch out, sweetie, because you're next. You're next. Are you sure? Yeah, I won't be needing it anymore. I already got everything I need out of this experience. Like what? <laughs> Scar the poet. Who'd have thought? So he was just trying to blackmail Scar? I don't think I'd ever have wanted to run from my past. Thank you, Simba. That is the first nice thing you've said. Still a little bit too main character for me, but I appreciate it. Timon, it's on. It is so on. And that was only his level four quest. What else happens? 
Oh, I need to progress further with Puma first. Oops. Yeah, so that was only his level seven quest. Or level four quest. Oh my god, Timon, what's wrong with you? <sighs> okay, well, my husband's on it. He's gonna go fix everything for me, like the wonderful husband that he is. Anyway, <laughs> the lore video should be coming sometime next week. Hopefully Monday, but next week. Because again, all I have to do is the narration. And I guess next up, we'll also be doing <laughs> quests with Puma so we can figure out what's going on with this stupid Timo. Kristoff, go find Mirabelle. Get out of here. Go find your girl. At least Nala is here to protect me. Why are they all teleporting? <laughs> Or gliding, whatever. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more madness, for more Disney Dream at Valley Madness. And I will see you guys the next one. Bye.